Everybody's still in shock, and understandably so. More than 500 injured. You can't wrap your head around something like that. It doesn't feel like Vegas. People come to Vegas to have a good time. They come to Vegas to forget everything, to do things that they wouldn't normally do elsewhere. Vegas doesn't feel like that anymore. It just feels spooky. When you walk down the strip and you see the vigil and you see the posters of the people who died and all of these candles lit, it's forever changed. I think there's a lot of people that knew people at the concert. They feel terrorized. Sheriff Lombardo comes out and says, oh no, now we looked at everything again and it was that the timeline was wrong and now we think that Campos was shot just about the time the gunman opened fire. So now the LVMPD has changed the timeline a third time. Um, and, uh, well, here comes the LVMPD, actually. The security guard, Jesus Campos, he was supposed to talk to five members of the national press, and he just mysteriously went disappearing, vanished. Nobody knows where he is. Things are just getting stranger and stranger in this case. I've had sources literally tell me, I'm scared for my life. I can't continue talking. There was a report that just came out the other day that said that concert goers and witnesses of the shooting, when they collected their phones that were confiscated by the LVMPD, they received their phones and it was completely scrubbed. Like they didn't have any pictures, no video. Law enforcement made an effort to make sure that the pictures and the video of the event were taken off people's cell phones. Why would they do that? What are they trying to hide?